Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, let's take a look at Numerair, also known as Numer AI, and their NMR token and see where we can land with the price target for the 2024. 2025 bull run, but before we dive on into this, this is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. I am not a financial advisor. And while I appreciate that so many of you are hopping in here from all over the place, you've got to hit that subscribe button. I make price target videos every day at 6 a.m. Eastern time on the dot. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification button as well so that you don't miss a thing in this rapidly evolving crypto space. But let's go ahead and dive on into this. For the last time, I do want to mention that I'm making some changes. I am not talking nearly as much about fundamentals in my price target videos. I just want to focus on raw data. I do look at fundamentals personally, and that informs the data, the decisions that I make with the data that's presented to me. Okay, so Numerair AI components, older dinosaur, could you call it a dinosaur crypto existed in 2018. So for the most part, yeah, most people would call this a dinosaur cryptocurrency. And we can see that it launched, it launched at a terrible time towards the end of the bull run in 2018, did put in a new all time high in 2021, is doing very well lately is on its way back, perhaps to a new all time high. And I do believe it's very much going to hit a new all time high. So it looks fine, you know, uh, $231 million market cap, there's more room to grow. There's a uh, lot of potential looking at the um, the market cap chart here, $500 million market cap was its peak. So it didn't have much in circulation when they launched. That's pretty typical for most cryptocurrencies. It's about halfway to its previous all time high in market cap and about a third of the way, a little bit more than a third away to, to its previous all time high in price. But we don't have to worry too much about circulating supply issues with inflation from 2021 until now. I mean, we had that big 10, that spike to 10 million, but we're right around here, hanging right around 6.28 million. Based on my projections, I don't think it's gonna be all that much more, if it is at all, the amount of coins in circulation when, whenever euphoria peaks, whenever the peak of the bull run is going to be. So 6.28 million circulating supply. And what else are we gonna look at here? So um, there's a lot of room to grow with this. Uh, looking at market cap dominance, you can see that we've had, it's, it's been pretty flat just hanging around, but considering the fact that this is an AI crypto and it has been doing well lately, I do estimate about a peak going right back to here. I don't, I don't ever count the launch day um, market cap dominance as its all time high in market cap dominance. I don't think that's legit. I don't think it's real. Uh, there's lots of cryptocurrencies that immediately will dump um, from their, their market cap dominance all time. So I believe that this right here, 2020 is the true peak. And I believe it'll go back to about that level, which is 0.04% market cap dominance. Again, like I said, I would say that this has been doing very well lately, um, pretty well. It, it's been doing well enough that it's, it's worth considering adding to your bag. Now, 0.04%. Assuming a total crypto market cap of $7 trillion, that gives us a market cap of $2.8 billion divided by 6,280,360 circulating supply. That gives us a price of $445.83, about four times its previous all-time high. I, I am bullish on the sector. Okay, so fundamentally, cryptocurrency, is it a good cryptocurrency? It's good, is it dead? I would not say that this is dead. I, I'd say that it's showing lots of signs of life and it's in a fantastic niche, which causes me to give it a little bit higher of a price than I think I normally would if this was just a layer one or something like that. So 445.83, that is where I land with a price target. I do wanna say upfront, I do not plan on buying this, even though that's more than a 10X. And if you did, I would take plenty of profits along the way. But that is where I land. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Is this price too high, too low, just right? Let me know and I will most certainly be seeing you in another video. Peace.